eccentric bunch of car designers, hot rodders, and engineers up against the corporate world and Ferrari in a big race. Not interested. Not interested. Not interested pass, at all. <laughs> pass. <laughs> pass. With Matt Damon. Still not interested. <laughs> Christian Bale. Oh, I'm in. All right. Katrina Ball. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> the woman from Outlander? Done. Carol Shelby. Maybe. The I Coke. Ford Motor. Suppose Henry Ford II wanted to build the greatest race car the world's ever seen to win the 24 hours of Le Mans. What's it take? Well, it takes something money can't buy. Money can buy speed. What well, in about speed? Ford versus Ferrari is the story of the race at Le Mans in 1966 when the Ford Motor Company decided to take on uh, Ferrari and beat them at their own game. Pow! <laughs> That's not what it's about. <laughs> it's not. Ford versus Ferrari is a story of brotherhood and friendship. There you go. Love Jesus and Christ. There you go. Get it right, man. Yeah. Ford versus Ferrari <laughs> is the story of Henry Ford II, <laughs> also known as the Deuce. <laughs> you need a pure racer behind the wheel of your car. That's Ken Miles. I don't trust him an inch. We heard he's difficult. No, no, Ken's a puppy dog. No, whatever it is, Shell, no. Trust me. I, I don't know about you, you've done your fair share of the choreograph fights, yeah, I yeah. have too. I'm really bored of doing that. It was great to do a fight where you just get to be a bit of a wimp who really doesn't want to get punched. Or punch. Or, or punch. Because that's the or, point of their fight. They, 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 they don't friends. want to hurt each yeah, other. They, yeah, they're having this knockdown fight, but they don't want to hurt or get hurt. It's like, bro we talked about it as brothers fight. You know, when you, you know, I'd fight with my brother growing up, we knew there was a line that you didn't cross. Like, and we put that beat in, of, in, in the fight where I, go, I grab for the, yeah, I grab a can and then I'm like, I'm not gonna hit him with a can and I pick up like a loaf Wonder of bread. bread. <laughs> yeah, Wonder <laughs> Bread and start hitting him with the bread. You know, it's just, it's a totally ridiculous fight. You know, both of them have done a million fight scenes where the whole point is to look as lethal or brutal or unstoppable as possible. And I think that the, our whole point here was, <laughs> our whole point here was like to that. not look like any of that, to look like two guys, <laughs> just like what Matt said, two guys getting in a kind of let's not hurt each other fight. And, and I loved, and I loved, I always throw out in these like, short shorts with these very English <laughs> chicken, chicken legs, very white, with your like, sort of Farmer John tan and just looking no, incapable you had, of doing I it. And half the time, I, like, you were just chucking me around the place because <laughs> I was so light and flimsy. No, I rem you reminded me of gym class, 1973 right, right. or something, yeah. Somebody, I heard somebody mutter, we were watching playback of one of the little moments, and I was like, I can't believe that's Batman and Jason Bourne. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Yeah, what Sad. happened to those guys? When you read something like that, and then you know that your scene partner is going to be Christian, I mean, that's what you kind of dream of being able to do. Um, it was just, yeah, it was so much fun, but it was also, we were on a, a rig, so there was a lot of things going on. It was a lot of movement, but it's it's so central to their relationship. Well, the great thing about when you're driving, though, is you just could, you, I mean, you know, you want to try and pre ignore that the camera's there in every moment in filming all the time. So it can be a little tricky when it's right there and you're having to look through it. Wait, you, you ignore you, you, you get, it? You get, you get, oh, ah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, it was actually sort of, it, it, it was great because Jim would just sort of set me off and I would go off on the on the on the rounds, and I would just sort of do things, and we'd talk about, and there's you know wonderful writing the gyms, and I would do all of that, and then there'd be a bit of time, so I'd be like, well, I'll just start chucking this stuff out, and then I'd either pretend I couldn't hear Jim when he was going, that shit, what are you doing, you know? You're, exactly it was good, like it was good that. until that moment. Now you're <laughs> awful. Oh, come here, and it was so much fun, because even when I was getting like, even when I wasn't driving myself at all, getting just dragged behind on this wonderful vehicle, the Biscuit. It was just so much bloody fun each day. And that, and I think that is really, was essential with Ken Miles, wasn't it? Is that he isn't this sort of macho, stoic uh, race driver who, who, who never has, who's impassive and has nothing to say about anything. He always said, like he said, it's not a wrestling match, it's a ballet. And he was very colorful and exuberant and very communicative, you know, and expressive. And, uh, he, he just couldn't hide his emotions. And so that helps so much in trying to, uh, I think, right, yeah. bring people into that car. Do you think you can beat Ferrari? I can try. We're lighter, we're 
we're faster. That don't work, we're nastier. We're gonna make history. I think so much movies, particularly the movies that people go see these days in movie theaters are escapist fare. You know, it's really mainly made by computers and CGI in so many ways. And what Tracy's saying, like for that first scene where they collected these actual cars or when you walk into the scene in the Ferrari, the Ferrari factory, which, you know, they at one point I think we had $200 million of actual Ferraris in that yeah. scene. Um, there, all of it was really real and we could feel it and you know, it really helps us as actors when you're dealing with a car driving by it you know, 100 miles an hour rather than 200 miles an hour, but still it makes a big difference that it's an actual car. You're not just following a tennis ball. I think everybody on the movie felt grateful to be working on a movie like this because they're getting made less and less frequently. And we all loved the script. Um, Jim had a great plan. We all knew what it was. There was no, there were no surprises. We just kind of went to work and went home every day feeling like we accomplished the exact thing we wanted to accomplish. So it was really joyful. Of course, I, I blew my voice out in the first take and I, I turned to Jim, and, or maybe even in the rehearsal, I turned to Jim and I said, I can do that 12 more times. And he said, good to know, I'm gonna ask you for 15. And I think we did it 18, yeah. I think I wound up doing it 18 times. Yeah. But uh, it's a great scene, it's a lot of fun. It's Lee in this very precise point of time. And um, you know, you can't look at him, uh, I think, as sort of this titan of industry or this um, huge sort of internationally renowned businessman. It's, um, he's an outsider at this company. He thinks out of the box because he's sort of put out of the box. And uh, he's the son of an immigrant. It was really interesting to sort of take all the research but then pinpoint it to this very precise place and time. I uh, learned how to drive from Christian Bale. Uh, we were doing a scene in the good old country squire and uh, it was a scene where we had to drive up and get out and then one take he was like, no, get, get in the front and you can, you can drive and he, he showed me how to put it into drive, it was an automatic and then how to reverse and, and reset it. So I guess that's a pretty, pretty cool thing to learn, especially on this movie for all things. Um, but yeah, that's probably Especially it. from Christian Bale, is he a good teacher? Yeah, he's, yeah. You know, you could do better, but you know. <laughs>